guys, welcome back to another random review and how to. Today I'm going to show you how to make a cut and tie blanket, but not just your average cut and tie blanket that you layer um, both of the fabrics on top of each other, cut them together, and tie them together so it's um, a dual blanket, so it's very thick. What I'm going to try to do is make my blanket wider. To me, when I go to the fabric store and I ask them for a three yard versus a two yard, it only makes your blanket longer, but you're not actually getting that wide coverage that two people can use it. So what I think I'm gonna do here, I have two pieces of fabric, um, three yards each. I already trimmed out the sides of um, each fabric. So it's um, clean edges and ready to go. But my next plan is I'm going to cut each of these fabrics in half. Now, I could probably honestly do it this way, but I want to try to make a pattern out of it. So I'm going to cut each fabric in half, and I'll show you. I'm going to um, put my pattern, then my solid, then my pattern, then my solid, and I'm going to tie them together, and it'll, it's going to be great. Let me show you. These scissors are great. Fabric scissors really make your life a whole lot easier. I got all four pieces and what I'm going to do is swap this one with this one just to have a pattern going. Now I'm going to put my um, my two pieces of fabric really close to each other and make sure they're really straight. What I'm going to do is make sure at least one of my ends are completely straight on the one side and then I'm going to trim to make sure all, all four of my pieces of fabric are the same length. All of my fabric is completely even on this side, okay, so I'm going to go over to that side and trim it so it's even. What I'm going to do to connect these pieces is just cut a piece from each and tie it together. That's all I'm going to do. Seems simple, right? That's what I thought. Make sure when you're cutting, your width is the same for each fabric. So I'm going to go about I'm going to go about a, an inch. See how I cut? They're all the same. Okay, hold it right like that. And what, I, what I'm going to do, wait buddy, can you, um, all right, so I'm just going to pull this. Um, there we go. Let me pull it a little closer. Okay. And I'm, I'm just going to tie these two pieces together. I think, it, I think it's definitely going to work. It has to work. It has to work. I like to put, put my solid on my pattern. And my pattern on my solid to bring through a little, to bring, bring my, a little bit more um, pizzazz, say, to my blanket. Look at it. I think this is going to work. So simple, so easy. You I can try this at home. Try it at home, I am. I'm okay. See how I'm tying them together? So I'm just gonna continue down my blanket. And actually, what I'm finding is if you bring your blanket a little bit closer to each other. Honey, come up here. If you bring it a little closer to each other, just like this, you can cut them together.
I just want to show you how this is turning out with tying two together rather than layering it on top of one another and making it a thicker bangle. So you're only going to have one layer as opposed to the two, but I think it's going to turn out really cute. And then look how wide your blanket will be. So that, that can definitely fit two underneath it and no, probably four. fit under, well, yeah, more than two for sure, but fit on a queen, king bed um, as a as your main blanket, which my husband absolutely loves, and that's all he sleeps with every night. So the fact that we can both fit under this, it's amazing. Okay, so as you see, I'm done with the first side. Um, it did pull a little bit, and I ended up with a little bit more of the one side than the other. So I'm just gonna leave it like that um, and finish the other two, um, finish the other three pieces of fabric, but it will be two lines connected together and see how it ends up. Maybe I'll just trim it off at the end. We'll see. Okay, as you see, I have put all four pieces together, each tie, so easy and simple. Well, would you look at that? Look how awesome that looks. Um, just did a little pattern here with my um, pattern fabric to my solid fabric, pattern and then solid. Um, you saw how I individually um, tied, cut and tied double knots in the middle sections of the blanket. And this one as well. And then on the ends, all cut and double tied as well. This is awesome. This is a truly awesome, big, ginormous blanket. There you have it. We're all done and um, it took roughly about an hour or so. And like I said, it was trial and error. Um, but it was an error. It was success, everybody. It was so easy. Um, all you, all I did was use my fabric scissors to cut it and tie knots. Um, and it is so warm, so comfy, so easy to do. So I hope you like this video. I hope it was very helpful. Um, don't forget, click and subscribe below if you want to see more. And um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.